Yeah, so as Rosie said, I'm Jo Gillen. Um, I work as a training and events analyst at Clyde Marine Training, basically supporting the development um, of CMT and um, attending and arranging lots of careers events all over the UK. Um, I'll just thank Maritime UK, first of all, for, for hosting and creating this event. It's such a large scale. Um, I can understand these things aren't easy, but it's amazing at times like this that we can come together uh, virtually through Zoom, Microsoft Teams um, to communicate with each other. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about Clyde um, Just before me, you heard Giuseppe from Warsash College, who went into great detail and gave you lots of information about the, the Merchant Navy side of the maritime industry. Um, hopefully I won't duplicate too much of what he said and more focus on how we can help you. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen. Bear with me two minutes, that should be us. Okay, so Clyde Marine Training, what do we do? So we are a cadet management company. Um, so you've got the college, you've got the sponsoring company, i.e. the shipping company, and you've got us. Um, and we are like the middleman. We are the ones that support you um, throughout your training. And what we offer is a three year fully funded cadetship for anyone that is interested in becoming a Merchant Navy deck officer, engineering officer, or electrical technical officer. Um, and Giuseppe went into great detail previously um, about those roles um, and what you would expect to learn within those roles. But we offer the cadetship. Um, there's three intakes each year. So the two intakes, we've got the January, February, and the April along with that. And then we've got the August, September intake as well. So I'm just gonna play you this video. So that gives you a little introduction um, into Clyde Marine training and what you would expect if you um, did your training through us. Um, so as I said before, we offer three different training routes. Deck officers for anyone that's interested in learning about navigating a ship um, and hopefully become one day captain of your own ship. You have the engineering side, which focuses more on the mechanical aspect of the ship based down in the engine room, and then you have your electrical technical officers. So they're pretty much like an electrician on board a ship. Um, and then the fourth one you see there is the pre-cadetship route that some of the colleges do offer that we work with. The pre-cadetship route is designed for anyone that doesn't meet the academic requirements for the deck officer, engineering or electrical technical officer roles. It's a one year college course. And if you complete that course, you then have guaranteed entry into a sponsored cadetship. Is, that is what we offer. Um, you also get paid to train with us. So the sponsoring company, i.e. the shipping company that we place you with or that you have interest in, will pay you, out, pay you without your three years of training as well as Giuseppe just mentioned a minute ago. So a little bit about Clyde Marine Training today. So we have over 700 cadets in training at any time. We are the UK's largest training management company. Um, we have 4,500 plus officers graduated. Um, we recruit for over 30 shipping companies. Um, and we work with the UK's leading nautical colleges. One of them you've just heard from uh, Giuseppe at Warsash. So we work with City of Glasgow, Fleetwood, Shetland, South Shields, the Scottish Maritime Academy, Warsash, of course, and Humber. So based all over the UK. And the ownership structure of Clyde Marine Training is at the top, you have Stena, you have the Northern Marine Group, and then you have us. 
So we're here to we're here to produce the next generation of um, merchant navy seafarers. Um, so in 1986, Clyde Marine Training was formed with the sole aim of regenerating the training of merchant navy officers. Uh, at that point, we only had three staff members and six cadets, and that's when we began the journey of cadet management. We have since helped thousands of cadets achieve their goal of becoming Merchant Navy officers, with many of our cadets going on to achieve long and distinguished careers thereafter. Um, our influence extends out with that as well. We work with industry bodies such as the MCA, the Merchant, Merchant Training Board and the UK Chamber of Shipping. Um, now, why would you be interested in a career in the Merchant Navy? Well, one, you get to travel all over the world, whether you're a deck officer, engineer, ETO, you get to travel all over the world, you're paid to train, and you get a really good salary when you graduate after your three years of training. Now, the way the training works is it's split across five phases. So three of those phases are spent at college. So one of the colleges I've just mentioned before. And the other two are spent building up sea time with one of the sponsoring companies that we work with. So each role requires so much sea time before you can graduate. A deck officer, you require 12 months uh, minimum sea time before you graduate after the three years. Engineers and ATO officers, you require eight months um, sea time in there. And we are here to support you to get that sea time along with the sponsoring company but also there to support you academically um, throughout your college phases as well. So we pride ourselves on the experience that we can give you throughout your training. And that's why we have dedicated training officers um, within the Clyde Marine Training Company. So training officers are people that have been to see themselves. Um, I've also done a cadetship, passed their orals and became Merchant Navy officers. Um, we have multiple different training officers that are there to support you. So you'll be allocated to a training officer throughout your three years of training. That person is there to support you throughout your academics, throughout your sea time experience as well, and for anything else that you might need. Um, and as I said, they've been to sea, they've experienced, you know, the challenges that might come with being at sea. So they're there to support you through anything that you need. Um, we are an award-winning company. We pride ourselves on that personal touch that we can give um, with over 30 years experience as well. And we work all over the UK recruiting cadets. So there's some fantastic nautical colleges that we work with. Um, all of them have great facilities um, and you'll see um, them listed just in front of you. So all over the UK. And typically what we'll do is we will allocate someone to their nearest nautical college. Um, sometimes applicants or cadets do come to us with um, a preferred college of their choice and we will do our absolute best to place them at that college. With the sponsoring company side of things, i.e. the shipping company, um, again, you are allowed to put forward your top three sponsoring companies, and we will again do our best to allocate you to that sponsoring company. Um, so our training officers, again, they work closely with the colleges. So there's a training officer for each college. Um, they work closely with the college staff as well to keep an eye on your progress and if there's anything that we can do to help. So this is just a selection of our current clients, but we do work with over 30 shipping companies. Um, so if you're interested in a career in the Merchant Navy, you could be going to sea with one of the clients you see in front of you. We work with big cruise liners like Royal Caribbean, Disney Cruise Line. Um, we work with CalMac as well, Vroon, MEF, Tidewater, Union, EPS, a range of different clients um, and a range of different ships as well. So I'm just going to show you a video now that will give you um, an insight on how to apply and how easy it is to apply to us.
So that was just a video there to show you how easy it is um, to apply to us. You just go onto our website at www.clydemarinetraining.com. There's an apply now button and it takes less than 10 minutes to fill out the application form. It's very, very simple. The turnaround time for applications is very quick because I assess them myself. So you'll hear back from us within 48 hours um, with if you meet the requirements an interview invitation um, and you'll be interviewed by one of our training officers, which is obviously being done virtually at the moment. Um, if I just go into the next screen here. So just to summarise, um, a career in the Merchant Navy is a really rewarding career. Um, the salary, of course, is, is amazing, but the, the experience that you get on board and the responsibilities that you learn um, is transferable into all roles within life. You know, the maritime industry is a huge industry. We focus mainly in the Merchant Navy side, um, but, you know, people do go to sea now Get, they gain that experience and they do come back on shore and use those skills um, within a role here. There's loads of different industries that you can go in after your training. It's completely up to you. Um, and if you do have any um, inquiries regarding um, a career in the Merchant Navy industry um, or that you would like to speak to me and get a bit more information, you can contact us with the link just above. So training at Clyde Marine, uh, sorry, training at ClydeMarine.com. Um, that's our email. You can shoot me over an email and I will get back to you. Uh, we do have an office number, which is 0141 427 You can call me anytime. My name's Joe, and I can speak to you um, about anything you like in regards to the Merchant Navy or any inquiries that you do have. Um, but if you're interested in this, I definitely recommend um, applying to us, and I look forward to receiving your application form. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jo. Uh, we do have a few questions that have come through here, some interesting ones, actually. Um, so the first one, um, somebody's just wanting to understand, so why would they go for you rather than directly for a college? I mean, what's the difference there with, with the two um, options? So with the college, if you go directly to the college, um, you're then applying for the standalone course and they can direct you to either a, a training company, which is us, or directly to the shipping company themselves. Um, so whether you go through the college or another advisor, they'll still direct you to us um, or the shipping company directly. So the benefits of, of coming to us is it really saves a bit of time you know, between those conversations with the college and us. You're just applying straight to us um, and we can get the ball rolling with your career. Perfect. Um, and speaking of applications, someone has asked um, how many people apply and how many usually get in? Well, we do receive a lot of applications. Um, we do have high numbers for our January, February 2021 intake already. So if you are thinking about applying, I would recommend getting your application form in as soon as possible. Um, we do we can only take so many cadets on for each intake. As you can imagine, you know, the shipping companies only take so many people yeah. in numbers. Um, so I do recommend getting that application in as soon as possible. Anyone that isn't successful um, just either, either hasn't met the academic requirements, but it's not a case of just them getting rejected. I would tend to phone that person up and advise them of other routes like the pre-cadetship route. If you do that, then you've got a guaranteed en entry into the sponsored cadetship that we offer. Um, or mm -hmm. it would be a case of that intake's full, so we, we would then defer them until the next intake. Okay, perfect. And that brings uh, me on nicely to, to one of the next questions, actually. Um, someone's asked, um, you mentioned that you had to have, obviously, GCSE in English, Maths and Science. Mm. Um, and they've asked if, um, unfortunately, they do, they do not obtain one of those, grade C or above, are they able to retake with you guys, or would they have to do it before applying? There's a, there's a couple of different routes that that, that person could go down. Um, they could they would if they wanted to retake that particular subject, they would have to do that out with us because we focus mainly on the cadetship. Um, however, that person could be eligible for the pre-cadetship route. So rather than retaking that particular subject, they mm -hmm. could do the pre-cadetship, which would you know guarantee them entry. Um, I would recommend this person phones myself up um, on the number or the email that's just, just behind me on the virtual screen here, um, and I can have a chat to them about how we can accommodate that. 
perfect that's definitely good to know that people you know have options which is great yeah. uh someone's asked um on average what are the the hours for a course so would they be full-time monday to friday um you know is there any weekend any weekend training there i mean how does that work so the course is full time five days a week um it is a lot of information to to take in so it has it couldn't work if it was part-time it has to be a full-time course so we do get a lot of questions people will ask can I get a part-time job um while I uh, study and train with you and, and we'll never tell anyone not to get a part-time job we just have to say your main focus has to be the cadetship because it's a lot of information to take mm-hmm. in you do have to focus on it so it is a full-time uh, position perfect um and actually really lovely someone's obviously picked up on you you being um you know female in, in this industry um I'm guessing this has also come from a from another female but they've asked if there are many women in the industry and if you're doing anything to to, to try and recruit more yeah so there's there's definitely um there could be more women within the industry I can't lie about that I would love to see more and more women apply um I don't think it's this industry that that the struggles with that I think it's STEM subjects um, in general mm-hmm. tend to have a lower percentage of females um, however I'm very much um, all about women empowerment and the more females that can apply to this role the, the absolute better um, it's definitely getting better there is a lot more females than there was say five ten years ago um, yeah. but but yeah definitely something that we we look to raise awareness of we do work with a number of charities to try and uh, promote the industry to to females absolutely so um go ahead and apply and i look forward to receiving your application form <laughs> perfect um and just a final question here this is actually one from me somebody asked it um in in the last um session and i thought it was just a really really good question uh why do you why do you like your role you know why do you personally enjoy it why are you here today I always find that the hardest question to ask, you know, because <laughs> I, I I love my role for a various amount of reasons. Um, connecting with the public and, you know, sharing this this route, uh, this career route is, I think, really important. Not everyone likes to leave school and go straight into university. Um, I'm certainly not that, wasn't that kind of person. Um, so having an alternative route, like whether that's cadetships, apprenticeships, um, I'm all for promoting. Um, you know, I am very enthusiastic about about my role. Um, I enjoy going around the UK, you know, in non-COVID times, traveling around, speaking to to young people, seeing what they're interested in and helping them and assisting them in, in any way I can. Um, and that's why if you did apply it to us, you know, I'd be straight on the phone giving you as much information um, about the route as, as possible. <laughs> 